What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grid Zombies. Today, we're talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Treyarch's next title for 2018. This is a storyline series that I'm putting together. We're going to be talking about the great battle and how that all went down. And so drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something. Subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. We're going to learn about Black Ops 2, Zombie Chronicles, how it all ties together. So follow me over on Twitter. It's the best place to keep talking zombies as we get started throughout this video. So, Black Ops 2, let's start with a little bit of information that we know about the transit crew. If Group 935 never used the MPD, which is the Moon Pyramid device located on the map Moon, transit never would have existed. You could go even further back to say that the MTD, if that was never invented, and Group 935 never got their hands on that, the, the matter transference device, they'd never be able to teleport. So that is another reason to transit. It's, it's a cause and effect type of deal moving through the storyline, but by the end of Comic 6, we know that the transit crew was placed on suspension devices under Alcatraz. This is all part of the behind the scenes things, the quests that are going on. I have a theory in my last video, it deals with Comic number 6 and how Richthofen approached the group, the transit crew as they teleported in and addressed them as Sammy, and he was talking to Misty it appeared, she's the only one that reacted to Sammy, so it's possible that Misty might be Samantha growing up in that timeline. I don't know, I cover it in a video in more detail. That'll be linked down in the description box below. Be sure to check that out. But where we go from here is Black Ops 3 and how it relates to Chronicles. The Black Ops 3 premise crew tries to awake the other premise crew, the subjects, but Black Ops 3 Richthofen instead kills off world-specific versions of Ultimus. Once collected, Monty manifests the new bodies via Zombie Chronicles and kills off all of the versions closing all loops behind. Now in Chronicles, this crew repeats a new loop. They have a purpose, but currently it seems like it's part of Samantha's plans for Black Ops 4. Let me know what you think of that. But this storyline is divided into multiverses, omniverses, which we're going to soon find out. But there's fractures, and I want to talk about the fractures to the Revelations ending because there's expectations for each one of these sets of characters that we need to talk about. There's Richthofen's expectations, which, as we know, is to survive the deletion, be sent back to Nock, and replace the unknown soldiers there in Nock. Tank, Takio, and Nikolai, they have different expectations. That's to follow Richthofen, be deleted for the greater good, possibly even be rewarded by Dr. Mani. So that's their expectations. The children have expectations, too. Theirs is to be protected by Dr. Mani, Maxis, and the Primus Group against the Shadow Man and his Apothecans. Dr. Mani has expectations. He wants to delete all the evil and restore the perfect world that was corrupted due to Maxis's actions. The Shadow Man has expectations, and his are simply to corrupt Mani's Agartha, his entire world, not just the house, but Agartha. Our expectations as the players, what do we have as expectations? Well, we want all the games to tie together, which leads me to Treyarch's expectations. And I have a video coming up about the fourth wall being broken, and this deals with that a little bit. To have players love and hate the ending to Revelations, it's so important to note that all of these expectations are key to the storyline. Today is just another day in 2018, but we have the storyline, the timeline, to keep us busy. So let's talk about Dreisendrac. I do believe there are two versions of Dreisendrac happening, both in which the Wolf King did talk to Arthur from Buried and had the castles built. There is a fractured version, though, that we do play in Black Ops 3, and that deals with Pablo, Pablo Marinas. He's the Mexican test subject. We find out in radios in Call of the Dead about him. But he's captured by Group 935, and they use the technologies that he documented in his journal and his body. Remember, Pablo is a keeper. We found that out in the projector image in Dreisendrack. It's Pablo's spleen. That reference is a direct connection to a radio in Call of the Dead where Richthofen talks about the Mexican test subject's spleen. It's Pablo's spleen, and in the front it showcases the Black Sun, and that logo proves that he's a keeper. So Pablo is a keeper, he's working in the Great War. We have actual ciphers from Gorod Karavi that I want to read you now about Pablo when he fought in the Great Battle in Met Premise. My name is Pablo, or at least I think it is, or I don't know anymore. I have been locked away and held prisoner in a cell for many months by German scientists they keep experimenting on me, pumping me full of some blue liquid, that would be element 115, 
I think it is responsible for the repeated visions I have been having, which I swear look and feel real in this vision. My name is Pablo Marinez. I am a knight coming from the Crusades in a great battle against strange demon-like creatures who are trying to devour the earth at one point. It appears I am doomed, trapped in the tentacles of a great three-headed beast, when suddenly four knights come from nowhere with magical elemental staves, saving me from certain death. He goes on to say, while I consider myself to be a brave king in battle, I will tell you, my son, that those four were the bravest warriors I have ever seen and had the privilege to fight alongside them in the great battle. Many years ago, where we defeated the creatures from beyond and the dead eaters, they appeared after we claimed victory, never to be heard from again. The last thing they told me was to build my castle in this very location before they disappeared. Now that last quote does state that he's a king, so it might be King Arthur, which is the Wolf King, and I think that's maybe who also fought in this great battle. Now I'm going to read to you an excerpt from the Cronorium, and this talks about the Great War. Not the Great Battle, but the Great War. Let's define what that is. Once the Great War ended in the defeat against the Apothecans, the Keepers ascended to become the Wards of the Universe. The surviving Apothecans were cast out, banished to the dark ether beneath creation. After sitting an idol for many years in the dark ether, the Apothecans evolved into a twisted creature that bear little resemblance to their Keeper brothers. The Apothecans desire to re-enter creation to consume and corrupt all of the universes. It is the Keepers that guard against these perpetual attempts to re-enter creation and guard against any beings that may have fallen under the influence of the Apothecans, which is the Shadow Man as well, and we know his expectations. As I told you before, there's many things happening behind the scenes as well. So, something that did happen behind the scenes was Group 935 used the technologies from Pablo, which is the knight that we're seeing on the mural in Shadows of Evil, to speed up time in Dimension 63. It sounds nuts, but it's definitely something that's going on. Now, in Black Ops 3, the fractured DE, we see the castle painting. This painting showcases Lord Cthulhu in the sky, which brings us to the topic of the Great Battle once again. This is not to be confused with the Great War that we just talked about. The Great War is part of the H.P. Lovecraft's lore that tells us the victory of the Keepers over the Apothecans. And the final excerpt I want to talk about in the Cronorium is 27101978. The life force from the dead world allows the barrier to flow within all of creation. This talks about fractures that can happen based on blood vials, drinking the blood from universes or dimensions that have been erased. I'll read it again. The life force from the dead world allows the barrier to flow between all of creation. So there is this barrier that flows between all of creation based on that. So that is what's happening with the blood files. We know because of Zombies Chronicles that Samantha's window was recently shut again after Revelations. So this did stop further infection of the timelines post-Revelation. We all got to understand that. That's why the window was closed. Now the Great Battle is a result of Samantha's fracture in Origins. This is where the portal in France was opened. But that is even a result originating from Richthofen finding 115 in Germany. It all connects. Sam's plan is to awaken the test subjects in Black Ops 4 zombies. She is the cause of the original fracture in Origins, so it's likely she'll be the one that has to fix all of this in Black Ops 4. More proof of this is in the new ending of Black Ops 3 Origins, where the portal in France is now fracturing the Omniverse. That includes all dimensions over everything in the game, as well as real-life world that we're living as players. It takes it even a step further. That's now a factor, because the portal is now opened the Omniverse in Origins. That's what's special about Origins in Black Ops 3. I do have another video coming out next week that's based on fourth wall breaches that happens with Treyarch and the evidence of our own real life world being affected. I'll give you an example. George Romero and Call of the Dead. Just think about it for a while. We'll come back to this topic another time. Just know that the new Origins map is key for Black Ops 4. Zombies Chronicles. Now this does showcase a version of Richthofen and that's very important. There is proof he'll be brought back into the picture by a loading screen that we got from him of our premise crew and they're all standing in front of Monty's perfect house world. This perfect house world is very important. I will bring that up later on as we move throughout this series. But the great battle has been fractured into Dimension 63. 
This now gives us reason to believe that Dr. Monty's plan didn't work. Our Black Ops 3 premise crew now stands upon the mounds after the great battle already happened. This is where we are now. At this time, we have another superior version of Richthofen that's orchestrating Dimension 63 and having our Black Ops 3 premise crew kill off certain versions of themselves. This fulfills the prophecy. He wants this cycle to occur so all the past versions of himself can be killed off. So this can be explained and explains his intentions for advocating the loops to be closed after revelations. We can conclude that Dr. Monty's expectations were to put our Black Ops 3 premise crew into a corner in space where he throws things left over. This definitely could have been Zero Base or Empty Earth that we've seen in the comic, I'm not sure. That didn't happen due to the blood vials though. And the real reason behind the revelations ending is to fracture the great battle into Dimension 63 which takes us into Black Ops 4. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Drop a like on it if you enjoyed all of the content I produced here for you today. And shout out to my boy Wasu for helping me formulate all this plan. I'll have him linked down in the description box below too. But I will catch you guys in the next video. See you next time. Violent out.